Okay, now we're ready to make the Hail Holy Queen knot. And like you've seen on the previous video, we had we had all of our five decades made. And now we're ready to keep moving toward the beginning of the rosary. And the way we're gonna do that is to more or less fold this in half. So you wanna fold it over so that you're the first Hail Mary knot that you made and the last Hail Mary knot that you made are together. So we've that folded in half. And then we want to take these two strings. And the beauty of this is that it's just like any of these other knots. But this time, when you're using your tool, you use two strings instead of one. So what we're going to do is take those two strings and just like before, hold it up against the side of here with your right with your left thumb. And then you're going to go across and then this time all you do is make one crossover loop and now you're going to feed those two strings two ends through here so I'm going to go ahead and take my longer one and my shorter one and we're going to feed that both of those through here and sometimes it's a bit of a tight squeeze but if you can just get it through there enough that you can pull it through Sometimes you have to be a little careful that they don't get tangled together. All these strings don't get tangled together. And now, just like before, I'm going to slide this off and then I'm going to carefully work that knot, pulling all these pieces of twine until I get this nice and snug so that I have what looks like a lot thicker knot than I had before. That's going to be our Hail Holy Queen. So now we're getting near the end of our work. What we have done so far is created our loop of our five decades and our Hail Holy Queen. What we, we want to go next is we just want to, we, we're working backwards going towards the cross. And so now that you're an expert at making, at making knots, you'll see that the next one should be in our father. So we're just going to make our four loops and then bring the string back through. And obviously we're working, you have two options here. There's two pieces of twine that are sticking out. You'll, you'll want to use the longer one, so you can work all the way through the through the cross. And we're going to keep going. We're going to keep making. That's our, our, our father. We're going to keep going towards the cross. All right, we're going to talk about making the cross. And the cross looks hard, but honestly, it's, it's very easy. Once you've mastered your Our Father Knots, you are good to go because that's all this is. When you look at this, it looks complex, but it's actually just, as you go through here, one, two, three, four, it's five Our Father Knots that are linked together. All right, so if you go back to the last part of the rosary, we finished our loop, our five decade loop, and then we were working our way past the Hail Holy Queen, made it, we made an Our Father, and then a Hail Mary, Hail Mary, Hail Mary, and another Our Father knot, and then we're moving into our cross. And like I just said, it's really just five, five more Our Father knots. And the way we do this is just to take our, keep going with our string, we make one Our Father knot. And then you notice that I left a little bit of a gap between there. I made another Our Father knot and then a third one. And the third one is butted right up against the previous one so that you can start to see the vertical part of the cross coming together there. Now, as I continued, I took a piece of masking tape. And so about an inch below that, I just taped that off because you should have at this point, you should have a pretty significant amount of string. So we're gonna go ahead and leave that there. And then we're gonna, just like before, when we were cutting our string originally, we're gonna go ahead and cut this. And this is what we're gonna to use to make the horizontal part of our cross. 
Okay, so now the scrap that you had left is what we're going to tie right around that part of the cross. We're going to, we have that little gap, and we're going to use that little gap for the place to join our two parts together. So I have my scrap that I cut off at the end, and I'm going to tie just an old-fashioned shoelace knot. If I was a Boy Scout, I would know the real name for this. But I'm going to tie that just around that segment of the cross. And I want to get that as tight as I can because it's going to be, we want that to sort of disappear in the middle of the cross. So we're going to tie that as tight as we can. And then we're going to use our tool to make two more Our Father knots on either side of this. And we're going to butt those up as close to there as we possibly can. All right, now once you've reached this point, you all you have left to do to make this, uh, this rosary final is to cut off the scrap pieces of string so that all you're left with is your rosary. Now there are a couple of options. One way a lot of people uh, like to do is to just take some scissors, snip the, these pieces of string so that there's just a tiny piece left, and then to take a lighter and uh, light those, melt the string, and then your knot won't come apart, which is a completely valid way of doing it. Um, I'm not crazy about it just because uh, you have an open flame. The tent, the, as the string melts, I've burned myself a number of times just from the hot, still melted string that I accidentally touch. So what I like to do, it is important to melt the string, but um, what I did was order a, a rosary cutting tool which turns out to be a soldering iron and this has worked really well for me and I'll show you if you'll think maybe uh, I should be a little bit more careful but if I if I hold this if I get the soldering iron gets hot enough I keep the string pretty taut and then I run the soldering iron right past there you'll notice it cuts right through the string and now not only have I cut off the string, I've melted the end of it nice and flat. So there's not any kind of glob of melted string. You do have to be really careful because obviously your hands are very close to a hot soldering iron, but I tend to like this a lot. It's worked really well. And sometimes I just use a hot soldering iron to touch up the end if there's a sharp edge or something. And then once I'm done, I can just some of these strings I'll throw away, but others are a little bit long, so I might use them for something else. And so once I'm all done, I have my cross, final cross. And there's, this is a piece, this is a demonstration piece. Normally there'd be one more piece of string to cut near the Hail Holy Queen bead. And once you're done with that, your rosary is complete.